I'm Coyote Peterson. This is Mario Aldecoa. One of these two reptiles is an alligator, and the other is a crocodile. Do you know which is which? Stay tuned, because we're about to show you. Welcome back everyone. Okay, so what I have in my hands right here, this is the American alligator. And what I have in my hands is the American crocodile. And right now we're in South Florida. And what's really awesome about this location is that this is the only place in the world where these two reptiles' territories overlap. However, catching these two animals was far easier said than done. Let's take a look at last night's catches. There's something right here. Where is it? Hold on, right I don't there, see right it. I don't see it. Stay right there. Let, let me see if I can get closer. I got a shot on him, so if you if you want to go, go for okay. it. I got it. One, two, three. I got it. Nice. I got it. Woo! <laughs> Great grab. Woo! All right. Yes. Wow. Well, that right there is the first piece of the puzzle, the American crocodile. Now we just need to find an American alligator. We got an alligator right there. Oh yeah. Our full weight going into this. This is one of those things you don't think about it. You just do it. Ready? Yep. One, two. Got him. Got him. Got him. Woo! Woo! Just barely got right behind his neck. Watch your fingers. Here we go. Bringing him up. Wow! Yeah. There it is. All right. Now we got to get the American crocodile up close with this American alligator. Oh man, this yeah. is awesome. Look at those teeth. Man, those are some pretty epic catches last night, weren't they? Yeah, I mean, how cool was it to catch an alligator and a crocodile in the same night? Certainly a first for me. Now, this is great because it's giving us the opportunity to answer a question that a lot of people write in and ask me, I'm sure they also ask you, mm -hmm. what's the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? Most people look at a reptile like this and think, oh, it's one and the same, but not really. Once you get them up next to each other, you can really see that they're pretty different looking. Now, obviously these are both reptiles, both crocodilians, and both have been on the planet for what, over 200 million years? Oh yeah, absolutely, their lineage is prehistoric. So we're pretty much looking at dinosaurs here. Oh yeah. All right, so first let's look at the differences in snout structure, because this is probably a really easy way to identify these animals in the wild, correct? Yeah, that's how I identify them. It's very easy. Crocodiles have a pointed, narrow snout. Alligators have a broad, round snout. Yeah, look how broad that snout is. And that has to do with the type of food that they're eating. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, crocodiles are more coastal habitats, mm -hmm. so they're gonna be eating fish and they want skinnier jaws to potentially thrash around and grab the fish. Right, and I can right? see that with the tooth structure. Those look like little shears. I look at the alligator, and of course we know that alligators are opportunistic. Raccoons, deer, pretty much anything that comes across these mm -hmm. jaws. And they have big, broad jaws for, for crushing their food, pretty much. They yeah. crush and swallow things whole. Now, one other similarity that all crocodilians have is a nictitating membrane. Mm -hmm. And that's really cool. This is kind of like a built-in set of goggles for when you're underwater hunting. Now, let's talk about the color of these reptiles, because because mm -hmm. that is also very distinct. Mm -hmm. You'll notice that the alligator is very dark in coloration, almost black. And I would imagine that this helps to stay camouflaged in dark, murky water, as well as probably being able to help it absorb sun. As we know, reptiles are ectotherms, meaning that they need the sun to heat up their bodies so that they can go out and be active. The yeah. crocodile, however, is much lighter in coloration. Why is that? Because of its environment. So these guys live in coastal habitats, and they're gonna blend in right with the sand. Yeah, you'll notice that just this coloration in the scutes and the scale pattern does almost look like sand. I mean, an alligator like this, if it was in a dark, murky swamp, you could look straight down at it and not even see that it's there. Yeah. Obviously helps it catch its prey once it comes up to the shore and boom, they lunge out of the water to grab something. Another difference, take a look at all the scales on the croc and the alligator, especially around the tail. So these are what we call scutes. And if you see, the crocodile has really pronounced Scoots, they're longer. Mm -hmm. The alligator has shorter ones. And those scoots help them propel better through the water. Yeah, you can see that the alligator's tail is much more knobby in design, whereas the crocodile's tail, how about that for an explosion of power? Yeah, you really need to keep your hands locked on the neck of the alligator and its jaw so that he doesn't get my fingers in his mouth. But you could maybe see right there just how their tail can quickly whip around and that is all muscle. This kind of leads to a, a really common question I get as well, and that is in their temperament. Crocodiles tend to have a very bad reputation. They are considered more dangerous than alligators. Mm -hmm. That's not true here in Florida at all. 
American crocs are actually really shy animals. Mm -hmm. Alligators are a little bit more bold here in Florida because they're more common and sometimes they're found in more residential areas. Right, so they're, they're kind of accustomed to being around humans. But even still, in both of these instances, these animals are not out there looking to actually eat humans. Oftentimes, I know when it's an alligator attack, it's mistaken identity. Somebody that's swimming in the water, dark water specifically, you're thrashing around, you're gonna seem like a wounded animal or a fish, and as an opportunistic feeder, and the alligator's gonna go after you. Correct. Now, aside from the physical differences between these two crocodilians, there is something that you need to know that you can't physically see. The American crocodile is actually considered endangered here in South Florida, while the American alligator is just protected. Far more likely to come across one of these beasts than you are a crocodile. If you're out there in the wild and you see a slender snout, consider yourself lucky because it's probably a once in a lifetime. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. You ready to let these two crocodilians go? Let's do it. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. If you thought that was a cool comparison, check out the differences between the alligator snapping turtle and the common snapping turtle. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.